always appreciate everyone who leaves comments. I always enjoy seeing those. Shout out to Stren too for playing those as well. Thanks, Stren. Thanks. But I actually don't think there was any comments this week. <laughs> so, well, you don't have to mention that, sir. <laughs> we don't have to say that. We'll just cut that out. There are tons of comments. We love them all. Tons of yes, Each and yes. everyone. Okay. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isaka Podcast. This is the weekly Demon Slayer Season 2 discussion. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. Next up, we have Justin. Good evening. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right, so this is the second episode of the second season of Demon Slayer. We're in the Entertainment District arc. As always, appreciate everyone who leaves comments. I always enjoy seeing those. Shout out to Stren too for playing those as well. Thanks, Stren. Thanks, but I actually don't think there was any comments this week. <laughs> so... Well, you don't have to mention that, sir. <laughs> we don't have to say we'll that. We'll just cut that out. There were tons of comments. We love them all. Each yes, yes, and everyone. Yes. Yes. Cut off. Keep them coming. Right. The Discord, Discord uh, conversations. I think those... Uh, yeah, those, the those Discord's been hot. That too. Yep. I love that it. That too. So appreciate seeing you guys. Seeing you guys' thoughts, so keep it up. Move on to this week's episode. So, I mean, last week we had that huge, like, one-hour special. We were kind of wrapping up Mugen Train, transitioning into into this new arc with, with Tengen. Now we're in the Entertainment District. You know, everyone's, well, Tanjiro and, you know, in those case, freaking out because they're the country, country pumpkins who don't know what the hell civilization is. And Zenitsu yeah. as well. No, I think they're all Zenitsu very excited cause... about it, right? So, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. what, what's it, weird is like I thought I, I uh, earlier when they were showing like Zenitsu kind of wandering around, it almost looked like he was trying to find somebody, like a specific target almost. But then they kind of uh, broke that with comedy relief, with basically just you know women everywhere. Uh, uh, okay, just, well maybe. I was, I was yeah, thinking just overall because candy. like <laughs> yeah. I think even even in first Zenitsu, he's never seen that many people in like a district. So yeah, just like I w- I will say the one thing that was funny about Zenitsu this episode apart from like you know the overt comedy that they had all sprinkled throughout this episode um I, I really enjoyed the very beginning when um Tengen is getting ready to have them follow him to the entertainment district and he's just <laughs> oh, yeah. spouting all this nonsense <laughs> about you know being a god and, and all these things and you would think that you know um Tanjiro and Inosuke would be the ones to call it the bullshit and, you know, tell him to cut the crap. But it's Zenitsu who's the one who's even more over the top on a lot of things that is just like, how are you guys believing this bullshit? Like, this guy's crazy. Like, what's going on? So that I I definitely did love because we get to see a little bit of a a reversal of sorts of what you might expect from Zenitsu as a character. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am a god. You're a trash. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> and, then, well, and he also freaks out even more when he finds out he has three wives he's like you motherfucker I can't believe you how do I become you <laughs> man is well versed so. he knows he's gotta have you know some. oh some... and then he also he got even more mad too when they found out that that tank is also super super good looking as well yeah. Yeah. So. that was a shock to me as well even I had to comment on it and I never watched that to begin with Yo, <laughs> you guys said that Nosuke was hot Woo, man this guy I was gonna say this move guy. on over those luscious locks man's looking good <laughs> uh, and then, it's, um, it's, it's a Nosuke's final form from king of the mountain to god of flashiness that's, yeah, that's what I, happens I, I know we're jumping a little bit around here with like the comedy and everything but I, I gotta know David you know because we were talking about things last week how you know what were you looking forward to as we get into the entertainment district and I know you were mentioning the the tight show period being one that you wanted to see more of. So with the introduction to the entertainment district, did that did that scratch your itch for seeing more of that uh, kind of content? Or I mean, this it looks really traditional, like because it has like a lot of like, the traditional housing, like the the sliding paper doors and stuff, and even like the lights were still pretty lantern. So it felt still more traditional. Like like this looks like something out of Kyoto almost. Mm-hmm. So, it looks so nice. I mean. I, it still looks nice. It's not like I'm complaining, but it's like that is exactly what I was thinking about. Like, how dare you? I think I was probably like I probably like like it because um if they show Tokyo Station whatever at that time like this you know it's, it's kind of like kind of there like you know their their Grand Central Station this huge like station full of mm-hmm. like trains and like all like the latest technology so. Now, the so, only thing but, I'll, I'll say about that is if, you know, if this doesn't end up meeting your expectations and not that a uh, disclaimer here, not that I thought this was the greatest show. But if you are looking for a series that, that covers, you know, specifically that era that David's looking to have more of, there was a show from a few seasons called called Mars Red and David, exactly. Oh, what you're spending. Okay. They do have that. The plots <laughs> okay. just, you know, 
may not be the the latest and greatest with vampires, but hey, it nails that setting down. So, I mean, Golden Kamui takes place just like what ten years before Demon Slayer. So I got that too. But we've all watched it though. But anyways. Yeah, I think all of us can agree, though, the, you know, skills of Ufotable never oh, can cease to amaze us with their environments and sceneries. And for the locale that we're going to find ourselves in in this season, the entertainment district, they're probably going to continue to go all out, especially with the continued success of the movie and everything. It's like I'm sure. they have no excuse if the show doesn't look, you know, 11 out of 10, just yeah. crank it to the next level. I mean, well, and, and they don't have to work on fate anymore either as of right now. So mm-hmm. I'm sure they basically all yeah. hands on all hands on deck. We'll see, but like I mean, even so, like I'm for animation wise, I still look forward to the battles. Like I mean, Mm -hmm. so I'm not not really too picky right now. Like where we are, just just waiting for the inevitable battles. So okay, I'm loving this. And Taylor, looks Taylor, you you you've read the manga right for Demon Slayer? I have indeed. Okay, now um, I know you know Sasha here wasn't able to join us tonight, but but I know kind of in our. In our text conversations and stuff, he said he he really enjoyed seeing a lot of the the comedic aspects from this week's episode come to life in the animated format. Um, and I just didn't know, Taylor, because you and I are the only other ones who have read it. Do you feel like there is anything potentially special there? Because I remember, you know, the comedic bits being here and there with this introduction, but seeing them animated, it was great. Like, obviously, you know, the VAs are giving their heart and soul to you know, bring these very comedic and and over the top moments, which I think is really great as we get into more of the serious overtones of this arc. But just curious, you know, from from your perspective, if if you have any input or anything from from way back when, you know, when the entertainment district was in the manga format. (laughs) In general, I oh, I, I I do generally just prefer humor more when it's animated. I think voice actors just bring a lot to it. However, for Demon Slayer with these particular voice actors, they've all been really active on radio shows and on their YouTube channels and stuff like that. I have like a really strong uh, like head voice for them. And so when I read the manga, it was pretty easy for me to kind of apply that and imagine exactly okay. how it would play out. But that's just for me personally. In general, 100%. It's always better to see it animated. As far as like appearances and, and things of that nature go, like obviously, you know, Tengen is, is you know, keeping to his moniker of being a, a master of disguise and kind of blended in that ninja flow. But for whatever reason, when they were first arriving at the town or whatever, and, you know, Tengen's being as flashy and outgoing as, as he is with the two blades on his black back, you know, with the whole focus of being like, hey, we're trying to find demons, but we don't want to know that we're, like, heavily searching for demons, I'm like, yo, Tengen, you're basically like a walking <laughs> billboard over yeah. here of, like, hey, demon yeah, slayers are here, was, like, yeah. you that, know? That I, was, I was also And I thought it was funny, like, like yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess I never really thought about too of like how quote unquote like normal of a presence the Demon Slayer corpse has like you know across Japan, but it almost felt like too you know with how like, you know different they are in their style and the fact you know they have these swords and not like that a sword is a you know a sign something a different <laughs> at during those times, but it's just interesting too of seeing like you don't really have many of the inhabitants of this city like even paying much notice to the fact that like oh okay like. They are demon slayers or they are, you know, differently kind of yeah. dressed. <laughs> I mean, but Tengen mm-hmm. just seems like a badass, too, you know? So even if oh, it's I mean, not like a... You no, know, like... no, dis- yeah, no down point there. But I, if I was a demon chilling in this town, it's like, I'm away. oh, hey, look, yeah. let's look at this guy with the fucking bedazzled jewels <laughs> on his head and dual blades. Like, OK, that guy's probably up to some shit. Like six yeah. feet six I and mean... just ripped. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, with, I'll, with I'll... destroy on his back, which yes, is absolutely exactly. badass, you know? Exactly. I'll, also... Technically, in Japanese history, like in Edel period, like only samurais were allowed to carry swords, and then even after when they industrialized, like I'm pretty sure they still like outlaw like swords and guns for mm. Susan. So this, and this guy's I'm pretty sure most yeah. this guy's for, for guns. Sh- shinobu with uh, his wives. Yeah, <laughs> right. But it's also okay. Yeah. That, I don't think that was trend because like because he kept trying to say like oh like you guys. Should I have the wrong opinion about me. I'm just trying to do my job here. But then he's mentioned he has the three wives. Like, bro, I was with you until you said you had the three wives part. Hey, they seem see, like they're okay. And that's it? the thing why I love the relation that I, you know, we see forming between Zenitsu and, and Tengen. It's like, you know, a spade <laughs> can call a spade. They come from literally like the same walk of life in in a, in a way. You know, bit of a stretch in wording there. I didn't word that greatly, but you know, they they, they just uh, know each I, other I so well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know uh, it's on, it's on, but it's gonna be great. Like Tenyan can relate to Zenitsu. <laughs> no, well, we don't know his backstory yet. I mean, 
from the lady's perspective, no shot, you know. Yeah. Oh, too. right, right, yeah. I'm I mean, never gonna get his just ends on that front, I, but I, I, which again, shout out, shout out to Zenitsu for getting super pissed off that like he got dropped off for basically for free at that one house, and now he's hey. he's so determined to learn the the Shami Sen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'll dominate. It's fine. That's he'll, he'll he'll climb that way. Can we talk about the fact that no one's noticed that they're guys? Which is I know, right? Weird. The worst, <laughs> okay, the worst one is yeah. just, is is uh Tanjiro because he literally just has like his hair like <laughs> up with like the. A little thing in it, just yeah. a, a little like thing, a headband or whatever. Yeah. And it's supposed to the scar. Girl. No, Which is really no. weird because he's the one that no. should have pulled it off the best out of the three of them. I mean, uh, even, there's even no, no. 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 out of all of them. Yeah. There's an Osuke. Uh, yeah, yeah. Osuke is that, that porcelain doll, good-looking flocks. <laughs> like he just can't speak. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was a good comedic moment. I like how that's like the, tell them. I like how that's, that's the one moment there, you know, like how you were said, like how nobody noticed their guys, and like the one minor detail they do is like the guy just or Tenga just tells you, "Okay, don't speak. You're gonna give it away immediately." And it's just like, mm-hmm. okay, well, somehow Zenitsu and uh, Tanjiro didn't give it away already. I mean, okay, Zenitsu, if he keeps his makeup on, like they just think he's an ugly girl, but like Tanjiro, man, like I don't know how you explain that. Man. He looks almost the same. It's okay, they're they're wooing uh, people with Zenitsu's uh, shamisen play. Yeah, a little, mi- little misdirection. Yep. We'll yep. take the logical leap for it. Yep. <laughs> he'll, oh god. He'll, he'll write down, <laughs> he'll write down like a ballad so so good and thoughtful that like that's the that's the thing that people in Mashiro and Oto recite because they want to know more of the legend of Zenitsu. Mm-hmm. Yep. He'll get into the show that way. They'll come in the OVAs. Yep. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, um, I like the, for the entire thing though. It was uh, it was hilarious how in detail they went with with uh. Tandro's lie attempt about his uh, what he was like his story. I guess uh, I mean I, I thought his... it was, I thought it was, it was funny for that one part, but I didn't think too much about it. So yeah, I thought it was awesome. Oh, I think it's more because I know like uh, me and Taylor we've watched more of like Hananatsuki's videos of stuff. So just kind of like picture him, picturing him just <laughs> while doing this uh, voice acting. I, I thought it just made <laughs> it even better. I feel like he just <laughs> has so much fun when yeah. he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, for sure. I mean, it's one of those things, like you said earlier, Taylor. It's like you know when you come across these certain VAs of like it's more than just you know <laughs> voice acting at the end of the day. Like well, they are I doing also, so much stuff, and they truly love it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also forget that Inosuke is Kirito, so that always. Oh my me god! Yeah. See, yeah. 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 I would not have <laughs> ever remembered that. Yeah. Like when he does I, like I the. Like every time he yells, I can just tell it's Kirito, or he does like the, really? the yelling voice. I can I can hear Kirito in it. I like so. that voice actor though; he's really good as well, mm-hmm. and uh, definitely respectable. Uh, but it's respectable, uh, he says. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then was it towards the end of the episode? It, it seems like Inosuke is going to be the first one to run into one of the demons. Yeah, because mm-hmm. find all that um with a Maiko, like yeah, she's Machio. well Machio, yeah, she's the one that gets trapped and like. You know, in that situation with the demon, so so we had like all this. This whole episode was like kind of like a big setup, and now we end up kind of a cliffhanger here. I'm looking forward to see what happens next episode. I hope they like they address it right away. They don't just like just brush it off till later. For sure, I think it's one of those things. Like we said, you know, it's great seeing the the animation and setup it from a settings and kind of atmospheric point. But as we know, with Demon Slayer too, one of the things that a lot of us look forward to and the show does really well is their their fighting. Yeah, so hopefully we we start to get yes. back into that as well. But they don't have their swords; they're gone or they're hidden somewhere. Oh, true. For now, didn't think about as that. As of right now, uh, I'm sure they're I'm sure they're close. They're uh, they're hidden very close somehow, somewhere in mm-hmm, the kimonos. Yeah. yeah, Justin, I thought you were gonna say like the pacing because I'll 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 give credit like that. This is the second episode, so we had like just one episode as like a setup, but we're already kind of it feels like we're getting into the action with that this cliffhanger so hopefully mm-hmm. it can deliver and like that's what i really love about first season demon series like, i felt like the pacing was usually usually on point was so. it, was this uh episode did um that covered the manga chapters did, was there anything major that was missing or was there anything mm-hmm. that was added from the manga that is a good question and that's where or is it too far I, or was it too long i don't know if you know taylor like for me yeah it's been so long and I need to go back and just like breeze through the chapters quickly so I can provide more context there. It felt pretty faithful to me. Demon Slayer has been pretty faithful to the manga, to be honest. What's also really nice, too, is these. uh, I don't think. I don't know if they've confirmed how many episodes this season is, but uh, I'm assuming, though, they're. What what was it? Um, I mean, I think think we have to count like Mugen Train, but I'm pretty sure it's going into winter. 
fully. So it's going to be so all, like these. I don't think there's a so set all, number all yet across these, any of the sites. Gotcha. So all of December, then plus winter. Yeah. So, I'm assuming. So yes. if, yeah, if you count the moving so train plus. stuff, probably like another. Yeah. Okay. Twelve to unless, 15 so, plus. Unless I unless there's something they say where like it was going to be like winter and spring, but I don't. I can't remember. Anything. So yeah, it should we'll be. Look, we'll have to look it up. It should be more than enough to work with. Then I would assume, Justin Taylor. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I think so too. Unless there's just like some part that I'm forgetting, but. Gotcha. Well, the last thing I have to say that uh, it seemed like I had some opposers was I thought the ending song was way better than the opening song. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Same here. I mean, yeah. I don't know, Amor. I just feel like. Wait, I, everybody. I, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Taylor. Like, I, like I just feel like she's better with slower ballady type of songs. Mm. Like this one's not bad. I just feel like mm. it's really not her strength. Yeah. I mean, the opening's not bad by any means, but to your point, right. it, it almost feels like yeah. you know she's trying to step into something different. But her, her, I don't want to call it like her discography is so like well embedded in more of these ballads and more of these kind yeah, of like a, a emotional things. Style, like it feels, it like, feels forced. Yeah, right. yeah. And yeah. It, it feels like she wanted to do something different for the opening, but then even in the opening, like the beginning is very upbeat and going. But I don't feel like during times of the opening, it does kind of regress it's into weird. what she's comfortable with yeah. and try mm-hmm. to go back to being more like, you know, very like hype positive, like that's true. Upbeat, so. <laughs> right. So you know who but hey, have nonetheless, done she's been phenomenal. Yep. You know who should have done the opening song for this season <laughs> with this, hmm. with this, with the animation that they used? The lady it should have been. <laughs> no um it should have been bradio the people that did the opening song for um death parade death parade yeah <laughs> i feel like i that could see that really well because i could very see that damn that probably would work in real life yeah yeah so like all their music sounds like that it would have been perfect <clears throat> so did everybody think the ending song was better than the opening yeah i did i guess so yeah you guess okay i, I don't know i was just I, mean, I, did. I just oh, it just sounded like somebody was like opposing me when i said like oh you know like the ending was a lot better than the opening and then oh, I, just yeah, I, I, was, I just I just made a comment saying because you're on the notes like way better. I'm like, damn, Shen. Yeah, I do think it was way like, better. I mean, I will say that uh, uh, for Amers, um, her for her Fire Force song that was upbeat. And I like that one, but mm-hmm. it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, good doing there. Would uh, Would you but... have liked to see now that we have both the opening and ending? Would you have liked to have somebody different so it's not you know Amer for both of them? To Taylor's point of like seeing like a Bradio or, mean, or some other like artist her. that maybe you've enjoyed in the past. It's hard to say because you never know what can happen. So yeah, right. I mean, I, I'm just gonna say that it's anybody, just, but just, any, anybody's better than Lisa. Jeez. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah it's just too much. Just hold too on, much of her. Hold on, hold on, calm down here. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think starting to do it an extent. Like she can no, sound kind of repetitive no. sometimes, but I still don't think yeah. she's the worst. I really liked the opening for the first season. I'm just saying there could be better. If we're talking about somebody, you know, if Justin was saying somebody else that we'd like, I mean, I'm just you know saying there's a lot of other better. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. I don't have any ideas people. of who I would have yeah. differently, but you know. Right, I will say like to, to talk I'll, I'll say like far like a different maybe a different female singer probably fits well. Demon Slayer, I can't see like a a, a J Rock group doing the opening. So, mm-hmm. maybe or maybe it's just I'm too used to, to Lisa for the first season. So, what is that thing where it's like you know at, at the end of the day like Demon Slayer is still a shonen and where you would expect more of like kind of those J Rock efforts, but I guess with how I guess I don't know serious and. Things of that nature that it can get. Yeah, I agree that K Rock bands probably don't always fit the bill in that sense for for this show, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it would have worked with Demon Slayer. There's plenty of action and stuff. I think yeah, we could have I mean, yeah, we never we never know. So I, I don't think too much about it. Mm-hmm. I got nothing else. That's really uh, yeah, that, that so, was it. So I mean I'm hyped for next week's episode. Um, even though like I don't want to say I don't want to say like nothing too much happened, but it was just a, it was a setup. So we had a nice setup, <laughs> and like we we're I mean, getting introduced to true. the arc. We're like we're getting all the pieces being set. So now I think it'd be a nice payoff next week. So we'll see how it goes. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll fit. Yeah. All right. I think that'll be it for this week's episode. So I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Thanks, guys. Always fun talking with you. No problem. Of course. Always a good time. Thanks for hosting. And as always, I always appreciate everyone, anyone's comments. If you have anything you want to say, feel free. Um, either in comments here on YouTube or in our Discord. Always enjoy reading those. So thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Later. Bye. 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 Bye.